Feature race time for the late models to finish us off. Brandon and Braden, here we go. It'll be Ross the Cash, Ricardo Armstrong off the pole, Michael Jenner and Alan Schultz, to be Laird and TJ Horn. There's your six for the Bundaberg Pit Stop Cafe. Feature race for the super late models. And a turn number four they come. Green flag of a racing in the turn number one. And then side by side, Carter shuts the door early. Carter gets a big bicycle through turns number one and two. That gives up to you for the catcher to pull a bit of a lead early. The catcher does so. Cashew looking very quick early on. Jenna slides up in a second. Shorts gets all out of shape. TJ Horn has to hit the pick to avoid getting any contact. So first up will be to Nakashi, to Armstrong, and Jenner has issues. Michael Jenner in the zero car pulls up out of turn number two. That is his feature race done. And a leader, and Armstrong on that start really wanted to get to the lead before they got to the first corner, but just couldn't do it. Nakashi too strong. The lead car, oh, Schultz is going to rotate on, oh, and Horn does as well. Yellow. So poor TJ Horn had to check up twice then for Alan Schultz getting a little bit out of shape. And this time has to go around in sympathy. Does the 55 and the Queensland this 6 This was the race meeting available so up they came and uh, we're very glad to have Ross in the house tonight. Hopefully we'll see him back for the June 12th Queensland title. Green flag once more, we're racing again. Armstrong really quick now. He's followed him all the way down into turn number one. The Cashew looking very tight on the inside of one and two and gets a great run down the back straightaway. Armstrong follows to land, but then it's Horn and Schultz. The Cashew's car looks so settled for the next turn number four. Looking very comfortable out there at the moment. Yeah, the car really hugging the bottom of the racetrack. Oh, TJ Horn's going to go around. And Schultz is going to go in sympathy this time. So a little bit eager there from Horn, just getting on the loud pedal a bit too quick, too soon. Lights up the right rear tyre and around he goes. And as you can see there, the black line in the bottom of turn number two, getting very slick there. Like we said, when it's nice... Through three and four, he's got it on the brown stuff, ready to go. So he gets the best traction he can out of the, out of the corner on the front straight. Look at that. He's away. As the Armstrong car bounces its way over the line, the Castries already down the road, such as putting his car in the right spot on that restart. As I said earlier, that left rear tucks itself all the way underneath the car. Self drive out of the corner. He's checked out now of our late model final here. Oh, Schultz almost rotates the 55 again through turn number two. Nick Castry still your leader from Armstrong and Laird. Schultz and Horn battling in the back of the pack. I tell you what, it's an absolute delight watching that N99 coming down that front straight away. That car just looks absolutely settled. Ross Nick Castry, bit of an older guy, he's been around a while, raced for the likes of Alan Butcher. But geez, he still can pedal a race car. He is on fire. That car has not looked out of shape once all night. The 399 Motorsport is all on the rails. Look at that thing coming out of turn number four. Carter pushing hard, trying to keep up with him, trying to learn what Ross is doing that he can try and adapt to as well. The TJ Holland car is out on the infield. Bit of smoke coming from the engine, no flames as yet. Jenner's already on the scene to make sure that his other car is A-OK. -okay. But Nicastri still your leader from Armstrong. And Laird. There's the three runners, Schultz, in the league of his own back there in fourth. But Nicastri been untouchable so far tonight. So eight laps down. Nine laps this time, 11 still to go. And Ross Nakashi, as you said, this is a bit of a prelude to the Queensland title in June. So he's out here now, just to do a little bit of experimenting as well. What works? Where's the fast line? How does the track adapt 
after more and more laps of run. So he's definitely going to be looking at this for a little bit of an experience coming later on this, this season. And enjoying himself at Kauai's out there, no doubt. So 55 gets a call to hold their line. As a 99 on the cast street. Catches up to the back. It's going to go through mid-corner, but it's going to wait for the straightaway. Tries to put the power down, can't get by. Goes through mid-corner, Land will be the next one. And very smooth out from Ross Castry. Said sometimes in race cars it's very difficult to drive. Ross Castry is not making it look so now. Gets past Jimmy Land. Now here comes Schultz is chasing down Land and gets past him. Jimmy Land maybe having a few wishes out there. Maybe he thought that Schultz was on the one of the lead lap cars. Schultz finds himself up to the third spot now. The track definitely taking some rubber in the closing stages of the late model final here, the Cass Street. Untouchable, oh, Armstrong up against the fence in turn number four, grazes its way down the main straight. But it's still in a Cass Street from Armstrong. Then you got Schultz, he's got by Laird. They're battling for the final podium spot. So at the meantime, Armstrong is actually matching the Cass Street's times there, they're about, oh, last lap he had a bit of a, Slower one and through the ruts he goes this time by. Slaps the ball out of turn number two as well. A little lap traffic though for Armstrong. Trying to find his way around it. Meanwhile, Ross Nicastri, the New South Wales 99, made his way up from Sydney to come racing this weekend. These guys are absolute racing diehards. They'll race everywhere. They went down to Waterfall earlier this year. Went to Premier Speedway. They've been to Victoria. They've been all over New South Wales racing. As Valvoline Speedway closes the season, they're home for the Dirt Lake Models New South Wales. They're trying to find other places to come racing. We're glad they come up here. He'll collect the white flag this time. The M99, the 399 Motorsport race car, takes the white flag. He's in a league of his own, folks. He's put on an absolute display of dirt late model racing. He has not put a foot wrong all night. Ladies and gentlemen, your feature race winner is Ross Nicastri. He'll put the Barry Wright icon into victory lane. Coming home in seconds will be Carter Armstrong for Queensland. The Q35, Alan Schultz will come home in third. Timmy Laird in fourth. If you want to see how to drive a dirt late model around Karina Speedway, look no further than the 99 of Frank Nick of Ross Nicastri. As he comes through turns one and two, ladies and gentlemen, he's going to turn it around and do the traditional. <laughs> Put your hands together for him, folks, and you give you a few donuts as well. It's Ross Nicastri, your feature race winner. Give him a round of applause through three and four. Late models turning it on tonight. Nick Astry, first time here from New South Wales. Has done a ripper job. He's trying to give some burnouts on the back straightaway. For the fans up there. Hasn't put a foot wrong all night.